So making snappy animation can be really quite difficult, but using smear frames or multiple limbs can be a really good way to get extra information in a short space of time. So in this tutorial, I'll show you a really quick and easy method to make a rig add-on. It's adding smear frames or multiple limbs to any rig, and it can even be exported to Unreal Engine or to Blender using the Alembic file type. Let's jump in. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our rig is actually selectable. So some rigs have an override feature. Just make sure you can select the geometry. Then we can copy this by doing control D. I would make sure that your rig is already textured before you do this. Otherwise your smears won't have textures. So we take this new geometry and then we can unparent it from the rig. So edit unparent. Then we go to the modeling tool set. We're gonna freeze the transformations, reset the pivot and delete the history. If you have multiple pieces of geometry for one section, you can go to mesh and combine it into one. Go to isolate select and very simply delete the extra faces. So for me, it's the head, other arm, torso and the legs. Also make sure you reset the pivot and maybe change the pivot by pressing D to a more practical location on your forearm. So at this point in the video, you could stop here, go back to your scene and create your first multiple limb. But this only really works for one frame. We want to use multiple frames and multiple shots. What we can do, we can choose a controller that is located on both the FK and the IK part of the rig. So for me, this is the IK control box, the IK switcher. And I go to edit, attributes, and add in a new attribute. I want to call it something useful, so I will say smear or right arm smear. Go to integer, set the minimum and the maximum to zero and one. This creates a attribute on our rig. Now back to the animation tab, go to key, driven key, and set driven key. Let's select your controller load it as the driver and select your geometry load as the driven set your new value to one and select both the visibility and the new attributes respectively in the driver box make sure the visibility is turned on and set a key then set the value to zero turn off the visibility and set a second key now every time i switch this value from zero to one the geometry turns on and off now we have control over the visibility but we don't have control over the location this is really simple to fix we go to the outliner, find our new geometry, do control G to make a group, name this group something useful. So again, right smear. Then we can constrain this to the rig. So select your controller again, and then control select the group in the outliner and go to parent constraints. The geometry will always follow the rig, but you can edit this geometry independent of the rig itself. I can position this, change this, it will still follow the rig, but I can edit this geometry and change it as need be. So now we have the visibility and the location control, that's great. And you could even take this rig and go into your scenes. Let's add a smear to this geometry. There are many ways to do smears. You can use lattices, you can use deformers, and they all work and they're pretty good. But for some really, really simple and quick and easy smears, we can use the blend shapes. So open up the shape editor. So animation, animation editors, shape editor. You can ignore all the current shapes. Select your geometry, go to make new blend shape and name this something like you know, right arm smear, select the geometry again, add a target, and I would name this target the frame that you're changing. For example, if this is a frame 10 smear, you can just add in the name frame 10. Now we go back into the viewport, go to edit mode or sculpt mode, and then we can change the shape to what you want it to be. This is non-destructive, so don't worry, go crazy, do what you want. Um, use soft select to get some really nice shapes in there, but do whatever you want, and when you're ready, you can then save this by hitting a key and this will lock down that frame for this shape. Now here we have two options. Either we can set a key on this frame and in our current shot, we can turn off the visibility and turn off the smear frames either side of this frame. So frame nine, frame 11, key this off. Or in our graph editor, we can edit the curves throughout the shot and change the values as we see fit for different frames. At this point, it's really up to you, but whatever you need for your shot, you can do it your way. This rig can be saved as a new file you can replace or reference this into new scenes and on the flight ready to go smear frame, you can use whenever you need to be. If this video is useful, please comment down below. Let me know what you want me to make next. Go watch my other videos, my live streams, my tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and happy animating. Bye-bye.